I'm Josh Robinson from BitBoss, and we're, we're based in Denver, uh, which is about 15 hours behind where we're at right now, which I think is appropriate since we're talking about the future, right? literally in the future right now. So the main things I'm going to talk about are um, how BSV is evolving and how it's going through a, a burst of evolution and um, what developers can do to, to keep up and make sure that we can take full advantage of all the, the new things that are being released and, and done with the core protocol and a lot of the um, different packages and protocols built on top of that. And, and talk about what types of, of things we can, can do with a lot of the, the new things that are happening. So evolution happens in bursts and uh, we're definitely seeing one of those right now in BSV. There's all sorts of new projects popping up, new protocols, new ways to do things. And just as a, an example of that, um, you know, Unwriter releases something about, it seems like every two weeks, and half the time it makes something he released two weeks before, uh, un, yeah, it replaces it, uh, makes it outdated. And it can be hard to, to keep up with all of these changes, but there's things we can do um, to help um, make our, our libraries and tools um, stay current with, with all those changes. While I was looking for pictures for my slides, I also found this one of BTC's evolution, uh, <laughs> which it's similar, just a little, little slight difference there. So, uh, Keyring is the, a JavaScript library that uh, we built for use at BitBoss. Uh, we're doing a lot of, of real money gaming um, projects, and uh, we needed something that we could take advantage of BSV and, uh, and, and the changes and um, have something that kept up with everything. And the ways we've done that uh, one, we've made it very modular. So instead of a single package that includes every single thing in the, the project, um, Keyring consists of a bunch of different uh, node packages that can be included piece by piece. Um, and that also allows us to update different parts uh, without having to rewrite everything. We can keep everything nice and decoupled. So if we need to change the way um, opcodes work, um, we can have that in its own section and just replace that piece, keep the API between the two libraries the same. Uh, one of the areas where we've focused on keeping everything uh, modular also is with script templates. Um, so we have a specific section of the code um, and it's all kept in a single package that allows you to easily define different script templates. We've been stuck with the same handful of, of templates for a really long time, but that's changing very soon. Um, and an example of why this architecture has been really useful for us is uh, with the release of, of op false op return and how that script will be changing things in the future. We were able to add support to that for that to keyring um, very quickly. Um, it only only took a couple hours of, of coding to change that, maybe less. We also have, have built a, a plugin architecture, um, which allows you to take any of the different core um, elements, like the transactions, which is what we focus on now, and add functionality to it, that anybody who needs that functionality can just include that plugin, but they don't need to include anything else. So um, some examples of those are, are the TXO uh, plugin, which is you know, one of the, the original uh, formats of transactions from, from Unwriter that he released for originally BitDB. Uh, so by including that plugin, you can easily create a transaction object and do a .txo call on it and get that format back. Um, we also have support for um, Seabor, Message Pack, and um, a number of, of other things. And a lot of the additional functionality we can add uh, the higher level functionality we can add to Keyring through plugins. 
One of the other features we support um, is multiple chains. And that might seem like a, a weird one since we're, we're talking about uh, BSV. But um, one thing I, I realized while we were, were building this out um, is that well, there's a, a quote by Maya Angelou that kind of I think applies that we are, are more alike than we are unalike. So um, the different chains have some base differences in philosophy, but technically most of it's very similar. By abstracting out just the pieces where it's different, we're able to make it so one, um, as, as BSV evolves and we add new templates and things like that, we can uh, test that in isolation. We can have a, a test chain package and include things. The other is that um, this conference is, is about scaling primarily, right? So we need to not only scale our, our technology, the blocks, um, and everything there, we also need to scale our developer community and allow it to grow easily. So by making Keyring um, compatible with other maybe less advanced chains, uh, we can onboard developers using the chains they are, they are fans of, and then when they need, they hit the wall, hit the limitations of that chain, which will happen quickly, they can easily switch over to BSV without needing to rewrite all of their code. So some of the things we've um, been using Keyring for at BitWAS is um, we we used it to build out the JavaScript library for tokenized. Um, originally, it did not have, have support for JavaScript, so we've um, contributed to that, that project and, and made a, a sample wallet um, in an app. Uh, we did not, uh, we haven't released that project yet because it's also tied in with our core business, which is real money gaming, so we have um, using tokenized and BSV, we've built some games such as Baccarat, um, some lottery games, a number of others that run all on chain, um, record all of the transactions. The um, CEO of BitBoss will be uh, doing a talk tomorrow and go into a lot more detail on the the games and our, our approaches there. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you.